Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are here and you're watching, you know what this video is about. So this is going to be basically the process of me joining the Air Force for a little alert I'm in the delayed entry program. This is literally from when I first like started. Um, first started like preparing myself and all that jazz. Um, you might not see the Air Force like place that I go to, but know that my Air Force recruiter, he's in Austin, Texas. He's fantastic. Love him. He's such a great guy. Um, the reason why I say that so much is because the Air Force recruiter in my hometown where I'm at right now, they suck. Okay. And you think they would be a little bit better because I live on an army base. They, well, I live next to an army base. Like, you might as well say I live on an army base. Um, but they, they just are not the best. Um, I went there when I was 260 pounds. He gave me no information, which was kind of a bummer. He just said, lose weight, that's it. Uh, bye. And I was like, okay. And then I went to Temple. He was cool. Uh, wasn't for me, though. And I went to Austin. choir choir of hallelujahs like he's that recruiter is the best so don't be afraid to shop around when looking for your recruiter because this is kind of a big deal you know the army the military is no joke you know this is this is for real stuff this is serious so if you feel uncomfortable with your recruiter you probably don't want to feel that way you probably want to find a recruiter that you feel comfortable to talk to you feel comfortable to be around my recruiter He's kind of like one of my old, he's kind of like my older brother, like, like, that's his vibe, that's his, that's the vibe he gives off, and I, I guess that's kind of a vibe that you want, like, you want your recruiter to, like, you know, be there for you, or feel like they're gonna be there for you. Basically, what you're gonna see for the next couple of weeks, because I'm posting, I'm trying to post this every Friday, um, that way, first of all, it gives me enough time to edit, because I have a job. Um, but it also gives you a good day to like look forward to watching these videos um, So this is from From everything like from when I first started like thinking about joining the Air Force You're gonna see the process my mindset What thought processes I went through I think I already said that but you're gonna see the the emotions <laughs> The emotions because I cry uh, You're gonna see the joy my uh, just a lot of indecisiveness of what I want to do because like I said this is no joke you you really got to think about it you really got to know what you want to do and you know thought about a lot of different things so yeah in the end I'm in the delayed entry program and yeah I don't have a ship date yet which is fine with me yeah, you're just gonna see the thought process, all of that, indecisiveness, emotions. <clears throat> it's it's a lot of me. There's a lot of me. Okay, so I hope you're ready to see this face repeatedly because I don't think I showed many many other people. I don't think I showed a lot of other things besides me. <laughs> Which I mean, I guess it's it's about me. So why why not? I hope you enjoy these next couple of episodes. I'll be back later to explain everything because I'm sure a couple of you guys have questions. Don't be afraid to leave questions down in the comments or you can follow my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all of that jazz. You can ask me on there. You know, I'm going to be honest. Um, nobody ever told me to keep anything secret. So I'm assuming it's for everybody to know. It's general knowledge. I don't know. But, uh, you know, ask me, I'll tell you. I won't tell you my recruiter's name. I'll just tell you he's in Austin because I don't think that's appropriate. But, <laughs> no, he's in Austin and he's freaking great. Love him. Uh, anyway, yeah. That's it. That's all I got to say. Uh, this has been a long time coming. You know, it's been a long time coming and now it's finally here. So, I'll let you uh, watch these next couple of clips.
our episode. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Today is September 1st. If you know what September 1st means for me, you know that that means that today was supposed to be the day that I sign off to be freaking Air Force men. Um, I don't know the correct terminology for them. Um, an officer in the Air Force. Yeah, no, I didn't do it. You know how like you don't feel like it's the day? I don't feel like it's the day. Um, I'm gonna start filling out the application tomorrow though. And I think I want to have it submitted by September 5th. Today's September 1st. It is 8:24, September 1st. Um, no, but I wanted to start the, the 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 officer vlog, the officer, the Air Force um, stuff. I wanted to start it today because technically today's supposed to be the day. Um, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start. I actually need to actually start doing the workout. Like, I'm not as consistent as I should be, so I need to start being consistent. I think I'm gonna do 10 push-ups. I might not do them perfectly, but, you know, everyone has to start somewhere. That's how I feel. And I have to say, I have to stop saying that I can't do push-ups because I can. Um, I'm just not confident with them, which I think is anybody who isn't really comfortable with fitness yet. Um, I'm comfortable with running <laughs> a little bit. Um, I have to break the milestone of the mile and a half. I'm decent at running a mile. It's the mile and a half that I need to get better at. So, I look like this because I'm not feeling that great. <sighs> oh my gosh. I got in such, like, an annoying, I guess, debate with my older brother and slightly my mom yesterday. I'm about to play The Sims. <laughs> I just, I cannot right now, okay? I know you're here for like just Air Force stuff, maybe, I don't, I don't know, you might just be a regular smegular subscriber, but, uh, I just, I'm annoyed because, I don't know, how you know how you like, you're about to do something, so you do a little bit more research, I don't, I don't want to say I don't want to be an officer, I don't know if you can catch my vibe. I mean, if I end up going the officer route, cool. But I really like the photojournalism thing, career, with the enlisted side and the broadcasting stuff. I like all of that stuff. Clearly, clearly I like all that stuff. I've been trying to do my freaking YouTube channel for years. <sighs> clearly I like that sort of thing. So... Like, now my mind is like, well, maybe you should just enlist because, first of all, it'll be quicker. And I'm, that's what I want. I want it to be quick and easy. <laughs> I mean, not saying that the process is easy, but this seems a heck of a lot easier than the officer um, route. I want it to be quick. That's the number one thing. I want it to be quick. I want to be in by December <laughs> 31st. All right. I want to be in. I want to. I want to be in. I want to have my Tricare. Um, you know, because <clears throat> you know Tricare cuts you off once you graduate college, unless you want to pay 300 smackaroons. So I'm really trying to get it get in by December. And if I go the officer route, oh, we're not getting in until 2020, maybe even 2021, because it just takes too freaking long. I don't understand. I don't understand, I don't understand. First, you wanna just have officer recruiters in Arlington, Texas, at least for me, 
and then you 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 just want to have two meetings a year in February and in August, and then we gotta wait to so for offers or candidate training school whatever. And that's but you want more officers, and that don't make no freaking sense. All right, and I'm just gonna be honest. You would think that the officer would be more of a priority, but whatever. And then there's also the, I'm not sure if I want to be in the Air Force forever. I want to just simply be in the Air Force. I think it's a cool branch of the military. The Air Force has always been my favorite branch of the military. So, that's why Air Force, I mean, they're just cool. No offense to the other branches. Um, I just... I just think airmen are cool. Airmen and women. Just. Yeah, but I, it's like, I just had this debate because he was just being annoying um, because I have my bachelor's degree. And I get it, you know, more money. I have my bachelor's degree, so it'd be like, you know, that's what they want or whatever. But. There are no officer jobs that I'm like, wow, let me do that. Like, that's what I want to do. Um, there's no, I, I've never been a manager in my life. Um, I don't really like to be over people. I, I'd rather just do my own thing <laughs> um, instead of telling people what to do. Um, that's just me. Uh, I know some other people are more assertive me but I don't I don't know if you can catch this laid-back personality that I got <sighs> so I don't know you know how you just feel like you're not gonna be happy that's how I feel I'm not gonna be happy <sighs> you know how like you just feel like like again you just know that you're not gonna be the happiest but I mean when I think about the big picture I'm like I probably will be okay you know I just I just keep thinking about like I need this fast you know I want it fast or I can get track here again and um so I could you know just I could start already I could start that's what I, I want to start maybe I should have but I couldn't have even put in my officer application in earlier any even if I wanted to because I'm here with my mom so I wouldn't have been able to do anything anyway so <sighs> I don't know I, this, this, I'm just rambling right now this is how I feel I just um, everybody keeps telling me to do the officer because I have my degree you know, you paid more money. And I don't really care about that, you know? I, I again, like, I just want to join. Like, I, I could care less about getting paid more. I don't know. Is that weird? I, I want to join the Air Force to travel and um, to say that I'm in the Air Force. I think the Air Force, like I said, is, is pretty cool. Um, I've always said that I was going to join the Air Force, even when I was like younger in high, uh, in college. I was like, when I'm done here, I'm going to join the Air Force because that just seemed like the best decision for me. Because like, what else, what else am I going to do? Um, I mean, yeah, there's a lot for me to do. Um, my degree gives me a lot of options, but I want to travel. And the Air Force is like, or any military branch. Well, actually, I'm not going to say that because I don't know. I've only done really done research on the Air Force, but I know the Army too because I'm affiliated with the Army, I guess, because my dad. But um, I I know you just travel a lot with them. I can travel. <laughs> I don't know. My camera's dying. <sighs> just know that this is how I feel. Um, I've been watching a lot of enlisting. And then the job that I want is enlisting. I've been watching a lot of videos on that. So I guess that's why I'm just like, my mind is is messed up right now. Cause I mean, when I watched the officer school one, I mean, I don't, I, 
it doesn't seem as interesting to me and everybody that I've watched is in like some sort of medical thing and I don't want to do that um, so I guess it's just a little frustrating to me um, that it seems like people that I talk to just don't care and it's join the officer because you'll get paid more but I won't be happy I know I won't be happy um, so I don't know that's just how I'm feeling right now uh, so whatever I guess I'm gonna play the sims <laughs>